It was a welcoming place, a hotel where people from all over the world would gather. Now it's an Israeli army outpost. With its sweeping views across Jerusalem, the Cliff Hotel became well known. One day in 2003, the Israelis took it over. They told the family who owned it, it was actually in Jerusalem. But as they lived in the West Bank, that made them absent owners. Under the law, they lost their rights to the land. But the family says the hotel was always part of the West Bank town of Abu Dis, always administered, governed and regulated by the West Bank Authority. And the family had never left. They went to court to win it back. It's my family property. It's my property. I lived there as a child. I lived there when I was an adult. I married here. My, I met my wife here. I had my two daughters here. This is something we own, something we cherish. And um, it's for us, this is something we have to get back. The Israeli army moved in and began building part of the separation wall around it. The plan was to block off the hotel from the West Bank. Four times the bulldozers, the construction teams have arrived here ready to finish the wall. The last time they were here, dropped off these huge concrete blocks. But four times the owners have gone to court and managed to get them stopped. Now the wall sits unfinished, the only part in this stretch where there's a gap. The Israelis say the hotel is a security risk and they want it on the Jerusalem side of the wall. That would mean the family would lose it forever. One Israeli pressure group says the state's case is a mess. If the reason were security, then you would not use the absentee property law. And if you are using the absentee property law, then it's a whole different issue than security. So mixing these two issues together raises uh, serious uh, questions and doubts as to what is really happening here. The case has drawn international attention. While we were there, the Norwegian representative to the Palestinian territories arrived for an update as we were questioned by Israeli soldiers. You from TV? It's not the only land dispute the wall has created, but this has gone on for 11 years, and the Ayad family believes the Israelis will soon accept they're wrong. The court decision is expected in days. It could change the line of the wall through the West Bank and the lives of a family branded absent who never went away. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Abu Dis in the West Bank.